All right, boys and girls, um, we're gonna get ready to do our squirrel. We're gonna start the first day of our squirrel stuff. Uh, you're gonna need a piece of cardboard, the tin foil, a fork, it's like I raided the kitchen, white paper, a light cool colored paper for the background and a small cool colored paper for the sweater. So we're gonna start with the squirrel. So this piece is gonna be squirrel's body and everything. And we're gonna make a texture. You're gonna notice that the only colors we have are black, white, and brown. The squirrel is brown. That is the only color you need right now. We are not doing anything else brown but squirrel. Um, don't do, when we get to the tree, don't do the tree brown. I want the squirrel to be brown. If the tree and the squirrel are brown, guess what? We can't emphasize the squirrel because it'll be the same color. So that doesn't make any sense. So. All you want to do, get the brown down. I'm just getting the paint down. Don't go long strokes back and forth. Hold it here. Get long strokes down. The messy mat is here. Don't paint the messy mat on purpose, but it's there. So if you go up to the end, get the paint on the paper. If you can't handle this, I will take away the paint and you'll just cut and paste again. And I thought that's going to do that all year. So once you get a good coat of the brown down, you can put the brush in the water and clean it or just leave it out of the way. And you're going to take your trusty fork and you're going to scratch into the fork. This makes texture. Like fur, people, you want texture on your squirrel. You could go one way, you could go the other. I don't care. Just get some texture on here for some squirrely texture. That's why we're using white paper with brown paint because we want texture done. Now that that is on the drying rack, you will clean your brush really well, as well as you can. Doesn't matter if that gets dirty, we're gonna close the brown. This is where we see if you can listen to directions. And we are going to next do our shirt. So Squirrel has a special sweater. Then you're going to use white paint. We're gonna take the white paint and we're going to put quite a bit of it on here. And you're going to cover Now, you can use the back of your brush and notice how it's making a texture. Or you can use the back of your spoon or fork. You can wipe it. Actually, this works out better. I'm making a texture as if it was the sweater. So notice, I'm gonna go over this one. I like this much better. So without ruining the tin foil. So we're not scraping the tin foil off, we're scraping off paint, that's all. And then we'll put this aside, I'm gonna close the paint, and we're gonna do what's called a monoprint, or a monolith. It means one printing. So you line up your paper, you're going to gently put it on, give a rub, and you're going to gently, notice I'm gonna give it a good rub, and then I'm gonna pull my print and you should have a design on your paper. Now, if there are parts missing, you can actually come back and scrape some. But I don't want you to spend too much time with that. That's it, we're done. The last step of this project, you're going to need the black and the white. So I'm going to put down my paper and what you are going to do is paint the tree step, the tree trunk and a branch. So oh, I got some, I got paint on this side. So I'm going to flip this around because I want to cover that up. See how I got paint on there? I'm going to fix it. I'm going to open up my white paint. Keep the paint in the tray. And you're going to paint one quarter to a third white. If you end up with extra, it's okay. Oh, there's one more secret, secret tool you're going to need. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, I got some paint all over. And then I'm going to come through and I'm going to paint a branch. That's where Squirrel is going to sit on my branch. I'm going to close the white. Actually, no, I'm not gonna close the white yet. But my other secret tool is bubble wrap. You take the bubble wrap 
and we're going to paint the bubble wrap and then we're going to print with the bubble wrap and what we are printing and if you kind of get some of the other is making snowflakes because it's winter and then you're going to finally close the white it's kind of cute actually i'm pretty happy with this and you're going to get a little bit of black now i don't want to stick my white brush in there so i'm going to rub the brush you see i already got some other colors on here i'm going to wipe it i'm going to rinse it i know the water's dirty that's okay I'm trying to get this as clean as possible i'm going to grab some black and all you're going to do we don't want a lot of black matter of fact notice i wipe some off and i'm going to come through and i'm just making some texture like those trees that are kind of like that light color with the black bark black and white and that's it this is my tree so if i hold it this way you can see i have a tree the squirrel's going to be there it's going to be adorable horrible